everyone! How's it going? Welcome back to Cook Like a Japanese channel. I'm Ryo. Today we are making ground meat with cabbage and king oyster mushroom stir fry. You know the dishes, Japanese, Chinese, it's super easy to make and the taste will be super yummy. So why don't you give it a try? Alright, let's get started! Well, the main ingredients for ground meat with cabbage and king oyster mushroom stir fry only four. The first one is of course ground meat. I use chicken breast ground meat today, but you can switch it to pork, beef, or whatever you want. I'll use about 300 grams today. Ingredients number two is cabbage. I just cut it into bites pieces. I'll use about one eighth bowl. The third ingredient is king oyster mushroom. I'll use just one piece because this one is quite big, but if it's small, go ahead and use more pieces. It's supposed to be thinly sliced. The last ingredient, number 4, is clove of grated garlic. Plus you need some sesame oil to heat the ingredients, and sake, soy sauce, and oyster sauce. One tablespoon each to season it. You got 4 steps to make it. Step number 1 is to prepare the ingredients. Cut the cabbage into bite sized pieces, slice the king oyster mushroom, and grate the clove of garlic. Step number 2 is to heat the ingredients. Add in some sesame oil when the pan is heated, add in ground meat and grated garlic in it, and heat it with medium heat till it gets nice and brown. Step number 3 is to heat the cut king oyster mushroom and cut cabbage, and when they get nice and soft, go on to step 4. Step 4 is to season it with sake 1 tablespoon, soy sauce 1 tablespoon, and oyster sauce 1 tablespoon. Give it a nice mix and the dish would be ready to go. Alright, that's it. Sounds super easy, right? Why don't we go on to step 1? Alright, what are we going to step one? Step one is to prepare the ingredients. Let's start with cabbage. Why don't we throw the outermost layer? It's not clean enough. Okay, cut into bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna give it a nice rinse to it. Now the cabbage is ready, so why don't we go to king oyster mushroom stuff? Yeah, the king oyster mushroom. Give it a nice rinse and cut into half. Plus, slice it and thinly slice it. Okay, it's thinly sliced. Why don't we do it to the bottom? Slice it thinly. Okay, now the uh, king oyster mushroom is ready now. So when are we going to garlic stuff? Yeah, it's time to prepare the garlic. No, crush it as a plate or oh, knife. Then it, it'll be easier to peel the skin. Yeah, I peeled it. So why don't you give it a nice rinse and grate it. Yeah, it's nice. Nicely grated. So, we're gonna go on to step two. Alright, what are we going to step two? Step two is to heat ground meat with grated garlic. The pan is heated now, so we're gonna add in sesame oil, ground meat, and grated garlic. Heat it with medium heat till it gets nice and brown. Alright, I believe the meat broke nice and brown, so when we go on to step 3? Step 3 is to add in king oyster mushroom and cabbage and keep heating it. Till they get nice and soft. So let's leave the uh, king oyster mushroom and cabbage. It's Get nice and soft, so why don't we go on to step 4? Step number 4 is to season 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce with 1 tablespoon of sake and 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. Yeah, that's it. Okay, why don't you give it a nice mix to it? Oh, 
don't try it with salt and I guess it's time to play the dish. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay. Well, now it's time to play the dish. Yeah, it looks awesome. Cabbage is beautiful. So why don't you kind of go and play it? It's time! Now the ground meat with cabbage and king oyster mushroom stir fry is ready now! Alright now you know to make ground meat with cabbage and king oyster mushroom stir fry is super easy! So why don't you give it a try at your home? Anyway, thanks for watching! If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave some messages down below and subscribe! And thanks for watching again. See you in the next video. Take good care. Arigato. See you. Bye.